we met Lancer Scholl, the mayor of Batesburg, right after moving. And I love the vision that he has for this area. He really cares about the town of Batesburg Leesville. He has such an incredible vision to see this small town come alive in a way that's not just big business, it's really about the people. But what I really love about Lancer is that he's a great example of suburban homesteading. He's permacultured his yard, which is right in the middle of town, and grows a lot of food. It's just really incredible to see. I'd actually come and walked through downtown Batesburg in 2019, and just something about that area really just pulled on my heart. But I will admit we were wavering just a little bit because I just was like, man, I was getting discouraged because we weren't finding anywhere. Um, but I sat and talked to you and you kind of just shared your heart for this area and your plan and your vision. And it really settled the matter for me. I was like, we don't have a place yet, but this is gonna be it. I see your love for this community and I wanna partner with that. What you are bringing in is, is gonna be a shot in the arm. And, and fortunately, you know, like you said, I do have a passion for it and love the people in Batesburg, Leesville. And so we have worked to put an infrastructure and kind of built this path. We're just moving in this direction to make all that stuff happen. It's really cool that you have this passion in <laughs> homesteading, that you're here yeah. on this, this city lot. You are in the middle, in the middle of, of the, the city, in the, yeah. of the town, and you're growing so much food. You've permacultured your yard into something really productive. Yeah. How cool is that, that here it comes? <laughs> here it comes well, yeah, is it irony? <laughs> is it divine intervention? I don't know. You know, my, I mean, my journey probably started just from a, you know, health and food and mm -hmm. type journey, um, reading Omnivore's Dilemma, which then led me to, um, you know, uh, folks, this ain't normal. So Joel Salatin went yep. up to Polyface and met with him and talked to him for a long time. I mean, I've always kind of gardened. I was from a, I grew up in a small town or a, you know, on a farm in Missouri. So I, my, my parents gardened and stuff like that. So that was in there. But I spent a lot of time, you know, I've lived in Kansas City, I lived in Los Angeles. So I've, I've been around the block, but I wanted to come back to a place and really kind of make something. Yeah. And it's, it, you know, the satisfaction of opening up the cupboard and seeing, you know, 27 quarts of green beans is pretty awesome. It's huge. It doesn't take much space to do those things. Yeah. And um, I think if you, like you guys, live your life by example, then you, uh, you know, you just do it and everything else kind of falls in place. You don't need your ideal 20 acres in the country to no. grow a bunch of food. Start where you are, you'd be shocked. And when we finally did move to our space in the country, we had four acres. We grew most of our food yep. on four acres, which is, was plenty. We weren't even using all of it, really. Yeah harvesting a massive amount of food awesome. and so this is a really cool example that you're setting for people. I became a single dad um, in 2012 and I, it started with just baking some bread. You know it all build, it builds on top of each other so I didn't start with raised beds and a corn plot and everything. <laughs> you know my advice to people is just do something, pick one thing and do it and whether that's learning how to bake bread or getting three hens yep. or just a little raised bed and just just start. That is such sage advice. I say that so often because truly we can make things seem like they're so out of reach when really the main thing that's holding people back from food sustainability is themselves and not yeah. starting.